Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain the basics that you'll need to know about where to find things and how the advanced features can be used. Let's get started. You might already be familiar with Photoshop brushes in the basic sense. Most people think of a brush more like a stamp rather than a traditional paintbrush, but brushes can do a whole lot more than that. You'll find the advanced settings in the brush palette, which you can find by clicking Window, Brush. You can then save and load brush presets using the Brush Presets palette, which can be found in the same way by clicking Window, Brush Presets. Using the advanced settings, you can create everything from scattered circles to simulated art brushes, and a whole lot more. When you pair Photoshop brushes up with the graphics tablet, you'll get even more flexibility, like variations in opacity and color based on things like how hard you press down on your pen as you draw. We'll cover some of the basics of graphics tablets in this series, but look out for a separate, in-depth video series specifically geared towards using tablets. I hope you can see that Photoshop brushes are a lot more than just simple stamps. Once you get the hang of the more advanced settings, you'll be able to speed up your workflow and create effects you never thought possible. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.